Hi everyone, my name is Becky and I am a survivor. I am also the proud team captain of Becky's Believers Relay for Life team. I was diagnosed with stage 3 triple negative breast cancer at the age of 26. When I first found the lump, I thought, no way, it can't be. Breast cancer doesn't run in my family, I'm way too young, it has to be something else. I soon underwent testing. I had a mammogram, a biopsy, an MRI, an ultrasound, all of which came back inconclusive. Within days, my lump was visibly changing and my surgeon wasn't satisfied with the results. Lucky for me, he canceled a tummy tuck and into surgery I went. The plan was to test a piece of the tissue while I was out and see if it was cancer, and if it was, he would do a radical mastectomy. So I woke up after surgery to find out that indeed it was cancer, and he had removed my right breast along with 10 lymph nodes. Later I found out that 9 out of those 10 lymph nodes had tested positive for cancer as well. My doctor told me that I was not staying overnight. When I looked at him with a look of surprise, he told me that the hospital was for sick people and I was not sick. I had to go home. Within minutes, I had a nurse by my side telling me I was young, that I was strong, and that I was going to beat this. She didn't even give me a minute to think otherwise. That nurse will never know the impact her statement has had on my life and the tone she had set for the journey I have ahead. I left the hospital later that day without my breast. And with this new title, I was now a survivor. Being a survivor is the hardest thing I've ever done. It's a title or label that is very hard for some, but for me, it's the biggest accomplishment of my life. And something I've had to fight and battle for every day. And it will be a title I will have to fight to keep for the rest of my life. Following my mastectomy in 2009, I had six chemo treatments, then completed 30 cycles of painful radiation. Tests came back okay. I thought everything was okay. To make a long story short, the cancer has come back. I now have, I now have a kidney stint, a port cath have had tumors on both my ovaries that have both been resolved successfully with treatment, as well as spots on my liver that are no longer detectable. I have had my abdomen swell with fluid from a tumor on my omentum that has had liters of fluid drained off on a regular basis to maintain any kind of comfort. I have cancer in my bones. I have undergone 20-something chemos using multiple different sets of drugs. I have even participated in a clinical trial. Today I am still undergoing treatment and am waiting on CAT scan results to see where my journey will take me next. I stand here in front of you now, 30 years old, a little banged up, a little less hair, but I can honestly say that I love my life. I love who I share it with, the things I have done, and I know I have many things to look forward to. Some may say that I'm living with cancer, and although that is true, I much prefer to say that I'm continuing to live my life despite cancer. So why are we here? Why do I relay? <clears throat> Tonight we will walk through the night from sunset to sunrise to symbolize the journey of those whose life has been directly affected by cancer. The relay begins with the sun setting, symbolizing being diagnosed. At this time, there are many people around you. The sun is still in the sky, but things get darker and colder as the night progresses. People start getting tired, wanting to pack up and go home. But just as in treatment, you have to keep going. No matter what you want to do, no matter how dark it is or how cold you are. The idea is that all of us as teams and supports find a way to energize each other and cheer each other on and make it through the tough stuff. Early in the morning, the end of walking or treatment is in sight. The sun begins to peak and the sky becomes lit again. Although you are tired, you know you can finish. The sun becomes full, brings a new day full of new hope and another day of life. As you leave the event, you feel a sense of relief that it's over and you can now rest. If this event was every person for themselves, then few would finish. But because we are surrounded by each other, and when we are cold and tired, we look up, we see love and friendship looking right back at us. We grab a friend, do a lap, and find a safe place to rest full of love, laughter, and comfort. 
Our path is lined with memories of those we have loved and lost and those who stand and continue to fight. The people on my team have kept me going when I wanted to stop. They cheer me on when I feel like I have no chance and they give me strength to get back up when I feel I've been beaten down. When I'm doing well, they help me to celebrate and when I'm not sure where to turn, they surround me and help me find the way. This event is full of amazing people, people that will never know the strengths they give. The event is full of teams with the same goal, the same fears, similar stories of defeat and survivorship, and the night is one that brings awareness, love, hope, strength, and the potential for answers that so many of us fall asleep dreaming of. Thank you all for being here. You really truly do make a difference. We have a brand new cancer center, a phenomenal team of oncologists and nurses in this city, and new advancements happen every day in research because of events like this. So congratulations to all of you for fighting back and I wish you a fantastic relay.